So as predicted, Forever Skies has now announced their delay until next year. I mentioned this in my survival show that I did last week where I took a look at all the other survival games that are meant to be releasing before the end of the year and the lack of a, a release date and pretty much silence regarding it did tell me that they weren't going to be making it this year. So it's a shame, I'm sure some people will be disappointed. If you don't know, Forever Skies is a survival game set in the clouds of a post-apocalyptic world. You're returning to Earth to see if it's ready to be resettled. Exploring the contaminated, procedurally generated world, upgrading your airship and dealing with maybe monsters large and small. It seemingly has a lot of inspiration from other games like Subnautica, and it will have co-op eventually as one of their features they will add during early access. So what's going on? Why have they delayed it? Well, actually, alongside that post and news, there's a whole ton of other reveals about the game. So do leave a like if you want to see more about survival games, news, guides, gameplay, and let's dive into Forever Skies. So the blurb, I'm going to just shorten it a little bit. They've had over 80,000 players try out their free demo, which is still available now. And ultimately, they realised the scope of the game just wasn't going to be good enough for that many. The smaller player base, the more dedicated, the more that they maybe could just work on stuff, the less they maybe have to actually put out for early access. But given all the feedback they've received, they've decided to spend a bit more time to make sure the early access launch is right. A big part of that is exploring the under the toxic clouds. The demo has you going from ruin to ruin, finding new materials, scanning new items, and eventually upgrading your airship. But it didn't show the gameplay below, which is going to be a key factor. They had originally planned for this to be one of the first updates they did, but now said they're going to make sure it's ready for early access so that you will explore at least a little bit under the dust before iterating it on further. You can see it looks pretty gnarly, weird growths and alien plants everywhere, walking on foot exploring a city or landscape. The fog will be dangerous, it will also offer maybe some of the highest rewards. New mechanics, blueprints and viruses. A big part of Forever Skies is the viruses and how they'll inhibit you, but also give you buffs. By researching more of the viruses, you'll hopefully be able to find a cure so that everyone can come home to the planet. So it does look good, I like the mechanics, it's pretty eerie. It's a spooky game for sure. You can go and check out my demo gameplay that I gave you guys a little while ago. They've also recognised they want to add a bit more variety up top as well. At the moment, the ruins that they were exploring in the demo did seem a little bit lacklustre, so they're adding more variety. It is a procedure generated game with kind of tile presets, so you'll fly over to these places, gather the resources, and that loop will carry on. So they need to make sure it has got variety, especially with the rest of the world kind of seeming quite green. It was one of my tiny criticisms. The colour palette, I think players will start getting slightly annoyed by if it's only ever green fog they see. Like legit, I'm hoping they add some other colours to it, make it a different zone that's pink or purple. It seems like a small feature, but yeah, after spending a bit of time with it, I could see how players might become just a little bit green obsessed. But anyway, the towers that they're working on seem pretty cool, much more fleshed out and bigger. So more to do, more to look at, and see how much more kind of puzzle or level design you've got in the game. They also want to make sure that the airship and the maintenance of it is going to be right. It was pretty limited in the demo, as you would expect, but they want to flesh this out massively with damage and repair systems properly added to the game. Still working on it, that's why it wasn't in the demo, but that's a key feature they're going to have ready for the early access launch. You can apply this kind of silicon gel over certain places to put fires out that might start. The weather might play a big part of that as well, with lightning storms maybe causing damage to your airship. But I've said they don't want it to be a chore. They want it to be a choice whether or not you deal with the situation or you deal with it a bit later, rather than always having to go and repair every two seconds. They've also said they want even more ways to upgrade and customise your airship and make it your truly own. It's in a pod status kind of way. You can build walls as well and pretty much flesh it out how you want. You can add multiple burners and you know engines to it to make it go maybe a bit faster or just be more a little bit more proficient. This is definitely something I feel they should lean into more and more. As many options as possible to make everyone's airship as unique as possible. It'd be really cool to see lots of different videos and variations for how people are going to build their airships. And from this trailer I've shown on YouTube, it's looking really promising. I definitely am feeling it. And then our number five out of their five features they're going to be adding for early access is more to do with the viruses themselves. We'll come into contact with a lot of these viruses by exposure. And it's about how we can turn them into cures and remedies. 
They also want to add a system where we'll be able to even research even more and alter the viruses to give us new abilities and boosts. Some will be mission based that you'll have to find a cure to progress, others will just be about giving you extra abilities. And yet they're locking in as I said, 4 player co-op is a feature that they will be adding later during early access, it will not be there at launch even next year. And of course story is a big part of the game. The demo hinted at some of this with lore notes and a mysterious I guess engineer or a free previous explorer from their mission basically going mad maybe due to exposure to some sort of toxin. Of course you and the rest of the crewmates have crash landed and you're trying to basically get to them or find out where they've gone. I'm sure this will be the stuff that will not get finished way until the end of early access but they still want some beats of this to be there for it. So all in all not that disappointing news. They've not had any delays before that I can think of. They've only ever said towards, they've never actually committed to a date other than later on this year. And I hope we all kind of agree nowadays it's better for a game to delay than release in a buggy state. Early access is no excuse not to have core mechanics in your game. In fact, early access is now really the one launch that you can sometimes have. So it's got to be as good as it can be. I would have preferred or liked though if they had given a more definitive date for next year. They've simply just said the first half, so I'm hoping it won't be one of these things that does drag on longer than that. With 2023 being a packed year for other survival games, don't want Forever Skies getting lost in the mix. Obviously with 80,000 players that have demoed it, and I'm sure even more that have wishlisted it, I don't think that will happen, but you never know, there's a lot of competition coming out next year. So Forever Skies has got to be compelling, something really, really fresh and unique to really stand out against the others. From what I played in the demo, it was good. A little bit slow in times. Doesn't have that immediate action of getting into things like you have in games like Subnautica. But the mystery's there. I'm intrigued to discover and find out more, especially when they start iterating on the exploration, places that you can find to make it a bit more varied and interesting. And that'll probably be it. They've got an AMA coming at the end of the month. I might be able to cover that. But otherwise, yeah, Forever Skies won't be out till next year. And so I'll be back at that point as well. Give you a heads up of, of development maybe in January or February. And then fingers crossed it will be an early release next year rather than too late in the summer. Until next time, Rat Bags, laters.